Hello, I'm Georgie Barrett and this is your Week in Tech. Swedish startup iZettle has raised a $67 million Series D round to help expand their customer base. The company is now targeting small traders with its iZettle Advanced Package, which speeds up payment processing and offers a variety of fees based on sales made. France's posh eBay Vestiaire Collective raises $37 million, led by France's Eurozio. The company offers its 4 million members a higher-end platform to buy and sell second-hand designer clothes. Elevator Pitch winners HomeTouch have raised a seed round from angel network Wild Blue Cohort. HomeTouch is an online marketplace that connects people looking for care. The database of self-employed carers can be filtered by location and specific care experience. IFA 2015 has it kicked off this week. The Berlin Technology Trade Show is one of the biggest in the calendar and announcements have been coming thick and fast from the likes of Samsung, LG and Motorola. Sony so far has grabbed headlines with the launch of the Xperia Z5 Premium, which is the first smartphone to sport a 4K display. Over 100,000 people are expected to peruse the latest smartwatches, phones and TVs over the course of the next five days. PayPal is launching a new peer-to-peer -peer payment service, PayPal.me. PayPal customers can set up their own user profiles and have a personalised URL. You can text, email and use social media as a way to request money. PayPal.me will target the company's global user base and with over 170 million users worldwide, it aims to create a mobile-first user experience, making it simpler and faster than PayPal's original tools. PayPal.me is competing with a handful of peer-to-peer -peer payment apps, including Square Cash as well as Facebook, Google Wallet and Snapchat, which is powered by Square Cash. Our download of the week is Tracks, and James is here to tell you a little bit more. Well, Tracks is the app for musicians and songwriters. Songs start here. Quickly record, collaborate with your friends, and discover new people to work with as you create your jams. And finally, Google has made the first significant change to its logo since the company rebranded from Backrub back in 1997. In a week of big brand changes, New Zealand, along with startup Lendinvest, have also both unveiled their new images to the public. While the former has spent 25 million New Zealand dollars creating four flags that sort of all look like pillowcases, Lendinvest has created a sharp new brand fit for a sharp fintech company. This has been your Week in Tech. For more, check out Tech City News and follow us on Twitter.